Brilliant. Well, thank you for the glowing <laughs> introduction and thank you very much for having me. Uh, so I, in 2006, I sold everything I owned and I did so, so I could embrace my lifelong dream of traveling the world long-term and in a culturally immersive way. Um, I didn't actually sell everything, but that's beyond the scope of my three minutes. Um, but what I, what I think what I said that, that caught Marty's attention was uh, that, you know, when you travel, when everything that you own fits into a bag, you have to be very selective about what goes in there. So as I was traveling the world full time, uh, consumerism became a non-issue, uh, which ultimately meant though, as the years went by, as things would wear out, then I would need to replace those things. And I would replace those things with whatever I bought in whatever country I was in. So eventually I reached a point where everything I owned was a souvenir of sorts. <laughs> and it continues to be the way I, I made sure I wore everything is from somewhere else in the world. Like this is from the Southern Caribbean. This is from Costa Rica. This is from Vietnam. This is from uh, St. Martin. There's, there's a lot of stories I could tell stories for everything that I have right now. And that was really an amazing experience. And certainly when I travel, even if I don't travel with everything that I own anymore, whenever I do travel, I make sure that anything that I get, A, has a story and uh, B, then is something that I can use every day. So, uh, you know, similar to the cooking spoon that you get to use every day and you get to be reminded of that amazing experience. Uh, now, the story that I actually want to tell today is of an item. Bill mentioned a little earlier that sometimes an item has a story before it even comes into your life. And what I have to show you today is exactly that kind of item. I was in Cuenca. Uh, no, where was I? I was in Guatemala, um, Antigua in Guatemala. And someone told me about a shop where you could buy material that has been, that's used, but the, the authentic, uh, woven material from the indigenous tribes uh, around Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. And I thought, well, there's no better uh, souvenir. There's no better thing to have. If I want to get some material from Guatemala, I want it to have a story and a history. So I, I went into this store and just found reams and reams of old shirts and dresses and just pieces of material that I, I don't even know necessarily what they were or what they had been been but I picked out the pieces of material that spoke to me the most. And I brought them back to my home base, which is here in Toronto, Canada. And I had them made, this is one example right here. I had some of the material made into cushions. I used other pieces of material to cover my dining room chairs. And now I have, every time I look at you know, every time I sit on the couch and watch TV, I'm reminded of the experience that I had in, in uh, Guatemala. And also too of the, of the history of this. I mean, the fact that this wasn't made for a tourist to buy, but instead was a wet, and trust me, a lot of these pieces of material were well used. And so I had to find, you know, something that didn't have too many holes in it. But the fact that this was something that somebody wore at one point, the fact that, you know, I just, I, I sometimes like to daydream about who had this, who made this and how it ultimately made it into my own hands. Uh, and, and certainly now, uh, all of the things that I'm not I'm only wearing, but also that I've been able to populate my, my place with have similar stories. Uh, these scrolls behind me, this is my first ever trip. I, when I was 16 years old, I toured China with a ballet and I bought these scrolls. And I, 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 when I said I sold everything, I didn't sell absolutely everything. <laughs> I kept the things that were priceless or irreplaceable. <laughs> and those scrolls I considered to be both priceless and irreplaceable. Oh. Oh. So Melissa has been in the same store in, uh, I forgot what it was called in, in Antigua, Guatemala. I, it's yeah, it's a very popular store, I think. And they've got amazing stuff. So oh, definitely wow. to enjoy the things that we have to enjoy the stories. Like I don't bring anything into my life anymore, unless it has a story. <laughs> 